so I have the final number and oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> this was way more than I thought I was gonna have in this pack. Hello, I'm Samantha Joe, and in today's video, I'm going to be testing out this stencil set that I got for Christmas. My lovely husband got them for me. He bought me all of these because I showed him a video on Instagram about these like bullet journal stencil kit sets that just made bullet journaling like so much easier and it just had like all these cool things with it. So I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I had this? And he was like, yeah, it would be cool. Christmas is coming up, so don't buy it. And I was like, okay. And he ended up buying me a completely different set of stencils than what that video was, which is great because I have absolutely no idea what all these stencils are. Plus he also bought me pens for the stencil uses as well. So in today's video, not only are we gonna be trying and testing these pens out, but also I'm gonna be using each and every single one of these stencils just to see what all is in this pack. And I'm going to be making a piece of artwork only using the stencils. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started. All right, so here is our basic setup for today. All we're gonna be needing is our notebook, the pens and the stencils. I have these two pens up here uh, for reference because like I said, I've never used these fine liners before. So I wanna have something to compare them to, which is my Uniball 0.4 and 0.3 pens, which I use for all of my bullet journaling stuff and for fine lining stuff when it comes to artworks. So this is what we're gonna be using in today's video. Let me go ahead and start by unwrapping this set, very easy. All right, so here we have all of our stencils. Now this is a 36 piece stencil set. Like, look at all of those stencils. Like, there's so much, <laughs> so much. And they're numbered at the top there, so you can like see what sheet that you're kind of like working with. So that's really nice. Let's see, how many of the S's do we have? We have 12 S sheets and all of the S sheets are letters. They look really, really cool. Like that just is gonna look so cool. 12 letters, sheets, and then the rest. I don't know why that starts at C5. Oh, cause it's just out of order. The C sheets now, and they're C sheets all the way up to 24. So 24 plus 12 is 36. We can maths. But yeah, so we have all of these sheets, which just look like a bunch of different doodles. There is so, many sheets and so many things to stencil per like each sheet. There's gotta be like over 500 different stencils within this 36 page set. So I'm excited to see how many stencils there are and just what all it encompasses. But I'm a little, little daunted by how long that's probably gonna take. <laughs> to stencil everything. So I think in order to save myself time, instead of doing the normal swatches that we usually do with pens, markers and stuff on this channel, I'm just gonna do each sheet as its own color of pen. How many pens do we have in here actually? Let's take a look. We have two, four, six, eight, 22, 24. There's 20. Those came out super smooth. <laughs> I was not prepared. Anyways, we have 24 pens to be used with everything, which is nearly enough to do every single one. So I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get stuck in and start stenciling because we've got a lot to do. So basically what I'm thinking is that they're gonna have two sheets per piece of paper and then we have to flip it and then do the rest of it. So, I mean, I could probably budge them up against each other, maybe get three on, but I think that's a stretch. So we'll just start. So far the pen itself is actually quite nice to do these stencils with. It's 0.4, so it's going down pretty smooth and pretty good. Of course, the smaller the pen size is when you're doing the stencils, the easier it's gonna be when you're trying to get into some of the more like finer cracks and crevices of the stencil. So, I mean, it just, just depends. Oh man. <laughs> I'm not even halfway through the first one and I'm starting to feel it in my hand a little bit. Oh no. What did I get myself into? All right, that is one stencil done and that took me about five minutes. Five to seven minutes to do. But I'm really excited to lift it off and see how it looks, so. Look at that, look at that. They look so good. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Like, look at 
So neat, so nice. There are a couple of areas where I totally didn't just not stencil properly and my hand cramps. Just even after that first one, my hand cramps from just holding the stencil down so it doesn't move. I think the washi tape's gonna need to come out because I do not wanna hold that. But look at that, that is one sheet out of the 36 that we have to do. I love that the sheets are numbered so I can easily look for the icon that I want and then find that sheet within the actual kit itself. I think that's really handy and really nice, but Wow, they just look so cool. And the pens work very well as well. So I think the 0.4 pens are really nice. Here's to 35 more. So as I was going through and stenciling all of these sheets, I started to realize that there was actually quite a bit of duplicates in terms of some of the icons. Some of them were smaller and some of them were bigger, which was great because you got a variety within the pack itself. But it took a long time to do all these stencils. Like by the time that I got through with the C24 sheet, I was really feeling it. <laughs> But I mean, flipping back and looking at all of these stencils and just the amount that you get within this pack, I was really excited. So it was time for me to continue pushing through and do the S sheets. So instead of doing the alphabet side by side like I was doing with the icons, I decided to start moving the stencil around and actually work with the stencil how I kind of envisioned the artwork needing to be worked with. And I'm really glad I did this because not only did I save on space getting all of these letters done, but it really just helped and prepared me for my next bit that I was going to do with the stencils. But before then, I was like, I wonder how many there are in this stencil set. So I went through and I counted every single icon, excluding groups of icons because they make up one stencil kind of. One, two, 26, 27, 28, 29, 36, 37, 38, 39. Sometimes it's really hard to know like which items to count and which items to leave out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17. Now on two alphabets, 26, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 28, 29, 30, 47, and that one was 26. How much does this add to? We must see. So I have the final number and oh my gosh, look at that. This was way more than I thought I was gonna have in this pack. Look at that total. That total is 1,086, 1,086, not even counting all, if what happens if I count all of the ones at the top, which was how many sheets do we have, 36? We have a grand total of 1,122 stencils to this kit that I just did. What? <laughs> that is so much, um, just, Wow. Yeah, I think the most icons that you had on a page was this one right at the very front, which is 78, just because they're so small. 1,122 stencils is how much we have in the set. Honestly, I'm very, very impressed with the stencil kit. The pens themselves were also very nice to use, but now I need to make a piece of artwork with all of the stencils that we have. Not all of them, that would be incredibly, incredibly hard, but majority of them. I mean, we have over a thousand to choose from, so surely we can make something out of that. So it's gonna be a lot of playing around. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but I'm excited nonetheless. So let's do some art. So I'm starting out by just kind of sketching and figuring out what I would kind of like to draw with these stencils, but I still wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not. So here we go. We'll just jump straight into it and start kind of blocking out some of the things that I was wanting. So as I was doing the stencils in the first half, I really saw a scene come together in my head and it was basically a cityscape scene. In England, we have a thing called high streets and on high streets, you basically can get a lot of shops on the bottom section of the high street and then flats or houses that people live in on top of it. So I was like, you know what? That would be kind of fun to do with these stencils. Why don't I just do kind of an English high street? So as you can see, I've kind of uh, mapped it all out and now I just need to go through and 
actually put color down, which is what these pens were great at doing. They were really good for outlining, uh, not so much for actually coloring in, but overall, I was really happy with how the pens were performing. They did great when it came up to the eraser as well. They didn't, you know, like lose any of their colors. Next, I'm gonna give this picture a bit more life with some colored pencils. I'm using the Jazza Pro Artist Illustrator Collection pencils. You can check out my last video where I did a review of these and just kind of had fun with them, but I really, really think it helped the overall picture come to life. All right, so here's how our artwork turned out. I was really happy I was able to come up with this kind of neighborhood scene. It definitely is the quintessential like high street of England, just in a very cartoony fashion. So I like how it turned out. I will definitely be trying to up my stencil art game now that I have over a thousand stencils to work with. But overall, I'm happy with the experience of the stencils and with the pens today. So that's it for me today. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Before we go, I'll leave you with a time lapse of me actually using these stencils in my bullet journal the intended purpose of these stencils not actually stencil art you know I just decided to do that for fun um, but yeah do all those things on YouTube that I know you know how to do in 2022 and remember the door is always open to imagination and creativity I'll see you on my next video bye <laughs>